Hey everybody, it's a nice October day, October 15th. The wind's blowing and I figure I'd do a short video on silos. We have the blue harvester silos. The short one is for shelled corn. This middle one, I think it's 65 feet, 20, I can't remember, uh, is for corn silage. And this one over here is for haylage. We actually need to move the blower over to that one so we can start filling up with corn silage. It's been an interesting year. We have, I never thought we'd be at October 15th and chopping corn, but uh, everything's late this year with the moisture. You don't want to put things inside this silo too wet, that's for sure. So what we did every year, what we've been doing for the past couple years is filling up an ag bag, um, 200 foot, eight foot tunnel, 200 foot long ag bag with corn silage. And when everything runs out, of, when we run out of corn silage in this silo, we have a bag that we switch over to. That way we can clean things out, uh, maintain what needs to be maintained and fill this up and let it sit for a few weeks and by then the bag should be about done and we'll start feeding out of this again. So, um, we have the self-unloading forge wagons. We pull up, we unload into there. Got a tractor on the front of this. Runs it all the way up to the top and drops it in from the top. The unloaders in here are in the bottom. Everything's sealed in these. Uh, they have breather bags. Uh, during the day the silo will heat up and it'll cause the bags to expand and when it cools down it'll contract so there's breather bags that's what these pipes coming out of here these pvc pipes coming out of here run to the breather bags that we have in our hay mow that way it doesn't cause this to blow up or cave in on itself so while this one's open we just got to clean it up seal it back up and be ready to start uh, unloading figure while it's still open we'll take a look inside oh bear with me oh. okay so we have two access doors which we can get into this is the middle of the silo oh I'm way up there is where it fills. So this is the silo and loader. That is the auger that takes things out to our conveyors. There's three switches on the panel. First one runs that auger. The second one turns this auger on. And the third one, which has a dial on it and controls your speed, it goes around and brings everything, drops it down, and then into the barn. There really isn't a whole lot, but I figured since it's open, might as well check it out. These are steel panels. And I believe they have glass on them, which gives it that blue color. Glass. Oh man, I can't. These holes are getting pretty, seem to be getting tighter as I get older. Glass is fused on here, fused or sprayed, I don't know what the proper word is. Helps seal it, and that's what kind of gives it that blue color. Pros and cons with every single thing. Uh, when it comes to storing forage, there's your regular silos, upright silos, uh, usually unload from the top with them. We used to have them and it was a pain in the butt having to climb the chute, um, lowering the silo loader, opening a door, this, that. Here, the benefits is uh, they're air sealed, uh, low oxygen tower silos, they call them. <clears throat> so you have less spoilage. Uh, one of the downfalls is the unloaders aren't as fast 
if you would as if you would go to a silage bag or a bunker silo. Uh, spoilage less, a little slower, pick your poison. Uh, we've had good luck with them. They're uh, the newer ones, the newer harpster silos, I guess, have better unloaders. Uh, these are still the older, I'm trying to think, how do you say the word, Ladig uh, unloaders. And they do a pretty good job. But just, uh, just a short video on the silos. If you like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. If you've got any questions, um, I'm not a silo expert, but if you got any questions, anything I might or if anything I might have left out, uh, drop a comment in the bottom.